Hello there, I'm AJ Puzzle for it, and welcome back to Cosmetia, where I am back in the uh, in the same ship that we were in last time. I've not altered it yet. Uh, I've been using it to uh, to grab all sorts of stuff, and I thought we'd head over here and see what this uh, this is. This is not in the same um, place that we were last time. We were over here last time. Uh, it's over here instead, uh, and so we're up to seven to nine um, enemies instead of five to seven. So uh, now, now we have uh, dangerous enemies. Not quite as dangerous as they could be. I mean, this goes up to eighteen. Eighteen. Crikey, I can't imagine what a, a level 18 enemy is going to be like, but we'll see at some point. Anyway, we, uh, I'm, I'm actually handling, roughly sometimes, uh, the uh, the areas that are um, with more than one enemy. Oh, great, there's three of them. Wonder what they are. Ugh, whatever they are, they're coming straight for us and there's nothing I can do about it. So, we'll just have to go to uh, slow, slowish speed. Uh, and see what cooks. Are they coming straight for me? What level are they? I just uh, defeated a group and they were like level 5-ish uh, or so. Which was good. Right, yeah, they're coming straight for me. And they're coming in fast. Now, if they're coming in fast, that could be a really good sign. Because if they're coming in fast, they need to be um, capable of coming in fast. And that means that they need to be earliest ship designs. Yeah, that's a level 3. Brilliant. Okay, I can obliterate a level 3 uh, because that's easy. I don't know why when I'm attacking it seems to want to um, ram them, which it doesn't make sense. And it ignores my order. I've, I've ordered it now to go to there. That is seemingly what that means to me. Uh, but in actual fact, it doesn't do that. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to do that. Add a little bit of a flourish to the design and see if it'll actually uh, take notice of my order this time. Right, okay. Go down to really slow speeds, because I want to obliterate this thing in a careful manner. Uh, shoot that. <laughs> Get to it! Ooh, they shot first! You saw it! Couple of laser blasts! Uh, and and, and that, that is uh, justification for all cannons shooting them. At great speeds. Yeah, you can lose your power. Oh, how are they doing? They seem to have they got through my shields already? I don't know. Hmm. Come on, hit them. Actually hit them, please. Yes. Brilliant. That's more like it. It's a little bit difficult for the for the main cannons to uh, hit a uh, uh, hit a um, a target like that. Oh, this is another. This is a cutthroat. Ugh. But it's only level three. But it's got two. Oh, it's got two normal cannons. They're not the uh, the the big cannons that I've got. And we're in that um, we're in that triangle. Not actually right up in their face, but not too far away from it. Hopefully, my other cannons will engage the other ones. Are you going to engage the other ones? Well, hey, come on, you can shoot that too, you know. Are you serious? Yeah, they're, 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 they're going for it. Okay, that's good. Right, blast it, please. Come on, you can do it. Get to it, please. Oh, there's a lot of uh, there's a lot of shots going in, but it stopped. So it's it, a lot of those shots are missing. That's a shame. Maybe I should have um, run straight into it. Maybe that would have been the uh, ideal situation. Okay, that one's hiding behind me. Hopefully, these will turn and shoot it. Come on. At least it's spreading the amount of stuff that's hitting us out around the ship rather than it all being at the front, which is obviously not helping us. Ah, he's stopped. That is his mistake. Yes, that is definitely his mistake. Stopping is not a good idea in this case. Are you going to enjoy all of those shots? I'm sure they were on their way. Yep, here they are. Yeah, boom. Oh, I missed again. Wow. Okay. And the other ship's staying behind. Oh, that's a level six. We're going to have to uh, turn around to get that. It's shooting its own ship. It really is. That's, that's lucky, isn't it? Okay, we've got uh, we've got those dealt with. So we can turn around uh, and deal with this one. Or alternatively, we can turn around and deal with this one because this one's the more dangerous one, and the other one's just going to get blasted in uh, in like you know 
collateral damage in, in the process. Uh, so it's, it's best that we turn around and do... Oh, it looks like we're going to destroy that one anyway. Yep, yep, it's going to get blasted. Ooh, the shields are down. Well, it's lucky we're turning then, isn't it? Oh, it's not, it's not finished. It's not dead. Ah, that actually might do some damage. It already has. Mmm, but the most damage is being caused by this thing. It's blasting us with those, uh, those, those, those heavy, heavy, heavy blaster thingies. I think I need to add more of those. I don't know if I've got one of those on the ship. No, I haven't. And I certainly should have, because they're really good. So, actually, I should try and concentrate on getting some more of those. Maybe I should change some of these out for that sort of... I mean, those particular guns are good on the, um, in, on the right outside your ship. Uh, it, you know, the front. They're, they're fine. Um, whereas these are great because they're not at the front. Uh, which is a, a, a massive improvement. Oh dear, look at all of that that's being damaged. At least turning round makes a massive difference with that. Okay. You're not very good at targeting, I can tell you. <laughs> so the, uh, the uh, deck cannons aren't wonderfully accurate, it has to be said. Uh, the the um, the lasers and stuff that seem to be a little bit more accurate than the uh, than the deck cannons. Obviously, the the big beam things that cut through the hull, they're great. Uh, and I'm, I am thinking that potentially it might be nice to have loads of those on something as well. But again, they cost a lot of energy, so I don't know. Oh, that went straight through. Look at those misses. Nah, I don't want misses. I want death to these things. Okay. Doing okay. That one's that one's dead. Good. All right. Turn and destroy this. Give it a final shot. It's finished already. Oh, hello. All right. <laughs> Didn't need to turn. It was already finished. Okay. So we've got one wreck over here. Good. Wreck. Okay. We can survey the damage to our ship soon because uh, that that we we must have had considerable damage. Uh, right, wreck there, and the important wreck over here. Good. Righty ho. Let's see how this is uh, is gone. Just let the dust settle a bit. Oh, actually, pointing out the wrecks a little bit before time is probably a bad idea because this one's moved a vast amount since uh, since since it got wrecked. Okay, what were all they? Oh dear, I forgot about that. You can get fires. Which can cause massive problems. Okay, let's just repair this quick, especially around all that, because that's uh, that's like power. You don't want that having a problem. Why don't I just use the repair all button? There we go. Uh, we do have fire places, but uh, not many of them. Where are they? Hang on, wait a minute. Where have I put them? Uh, I put them somewhere. Ah, there's one there, isn't there? That's a fireplace, isn't it? Yeah, fire extinguisher. There's one there as well. But where's the others? Hmm. I don't think I put enough on the ship. Ah, I really don't think I put enough on the ship. Huh. Okay. Hmm. Well, there is room for them, so maybe I should put some fire extinguishers. Wait a minute, where are they? Fire extinguisher! You're going to require more crew, aren't you? Because that's what you do. There. Two more fire extinguishers. That's perfect. Let's have that. Brilliant. Uh, now we're covered a little bit better for uh, for fire problems. All right, so we can now grab all of these wonderful supplies, which uh, is not much on this side. That's strange. Why should it be not much, considering that this was the level six ship? They should have done better. They should have had loads of supplies. Well, we do appear to be grabbing tons of stuff. Oh, look at all that. What's the, what have they grabbed? Have they grabbed? guns. Have they grabbed ammo? Is that what they're grabbing? Because we make our own ammo. We don't need extra ammo from that. I mean, it's obviously ammo that we don't have to make, but, you know, at the same time, we really don't need too much of it. Right, let's grab what's uh, what's left of this then, then over here. Yes. Oh, oh hello, autosave. Hi. How are you doing? Right, we'll go over here. And, uh, and hopefully that'll make that easier to grab. Good. There's a lot over here as well. So, let's grab that. Uh, ooh, it's all over the place. Go on then. 
And that's quite a long distance for them to travel. Ah, they were fine. They were fine. Okay, we can go over that area and get what's important from the last one. And we might grab some of the um, of the other stuff as well. The uh, the the uh, what's it called? Uh, the pff, steel. Grab some steel. Yes. Here we go. All of that. And now let's just have a look at what we've got because I want to see if we need the steel. We've got a bit of steel. We don't need to grab too much steel if we grab any steel at all. Hmm. We've got diamonds. Lovely. I've been producing diamonds, but uh, I need more um, carbon for that because uh, carbon seems to be in short supply. Uh, right. So I might grab just a few bits of steel just just to cover what we lost. Do the thing. Cover the steel. Brilliant. And then grab all of that. That should be enough. All right. Yes. Go. 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 Wonderful. I'm very happy with how they dealt with how this ship dealt with three enemies at the same time. To be able to deal with three enemies is great, but I know that we're going to get stages where we're going to have to defeat like three big enemies or three bigger ships that are more important. So uh, yeah, that's that's going to be a pain. Let's do testing machine because we are testing the machine. Uh, but I'm definitely going to have to design a better one. Over here we've got our, um, our cargo ship. Uh, and our cargo ship is just getting loads of supplies. We've got tons of diamonds. Look at all those diamonds. Uh, so you can see that I am preparing for the next design of ship. Uh, and I have no idea what I'm going to do for that ship. Uh, I, I do feel like I, I, I enjoy this particular design. The 4-in-1. Um, the um, because it just gives you that ability to feel safer in uh, in how much uh, and how much you um, you can deal with with ships coming at you from all angles, but at the same time, it was a close one, and we were only doing level three and level five ships or so. This is this is not good. Uh, we need to be able to deal with the level. 18 ships uh, in, in, in one go, you know? Uh, so it's uh, it's a little bit difficult. I don't know yet whether a uh, trying to encourage a protracted battle where the enemy don't have enough um, resources, to, like a siege, uh, they don't have enough resources to cover the, uh, the um, fact that you're blasting them, uh, or whether you need to really punch through and, and destroy a ship immediately you see it. Uh, with a, a, a really powerful weapon that just uh, obliterates it on sight. Uh, that might be an, another thing. So an, an, an all-powerful um, destructive weapon uh, might be the way. If I paired the... Um, what are they? They're the, these ones. If I paired these ones with the blasty lasers, uh, the ion beams then um, I might be able to get a better result because my ship has a habit of wanting to stick its nose straight in, in enemy ships. I don't know what it is with my, my ship building techniques, but I always end up with a ship that wants to um, just headbutt uh, anything that comes along. So, in considering it wants to headbutt everything that comes along, the, uh, the upfront ion, ion beams are very good because they are stronger the closer they are to the, uh, to the target. So they're definitely going to be able to punch through if they're, uh, if they're being head, if they're headbutting the enemies. So that might be a, a, a tactic for this. Maybe those up front and um, cannons and stuff on the sides and such like. That way I can use less power because uh, obviously the cannons don't require all that much power because they're just shooting uh, they're just shooting actual projectiles. Whereas the uh, the ion beams they will require lots of power because they are um, they are really sort of beamy and need need lots. I should be looking close because actually, if you look close, you can spy the um, the sort of chests. I like I call them chests, but they're not chests. They're just like lock boxes in space uh, that uh, that. You, you just find all over the place and I'm missing them because I'm, I'm not looking properly and I really should be but 
Ah, we can still see the map over here, so that's that's all right. We just can't see the question marks, which is a bit annoying. Go there. Right, okay. Now we're looking close and see if we can find any of those lockboxes on the way. You really do have to look relatively close because uh, they won't show up otherwise. Hmm, not seeing anything yet. Keep your eyes open. I probably missed about three on, on the way here because they are actually really quite um, more more popular than you think. Uh, and I've missed so many, I'm sure. I want the lockboxes for the diamonds. And the, uh, and the, uh, and the, what's it, tri-steel stuff. Ah, talking about tri-steel stuff. I haven't actually got anything to convert this yet. I should put the converters on the other ship but I haven't got the crew yet still uh, I'm gonna put try on here there we go brilliant uh, and then we can continue our little uh, continue our little exploration I was just trying to cover a bit of that area let's go over here uh, there is a um, there is another another opportunity to test out our, uh, our ship against several enemies I have been noticing that a lot of these are definitely like more than one target to deal with. That's why I didn't deal with them at the time. So let's save again. It's always good to save as many times as possible, which I do. Uh, and then we'll get over there and, uh, and see if we can blast those. Go, go, go. Sorry, I'm slowing it down. Really, considering I have an epically slow ship, and it is an epically slow ship, I could do with another speed up thing. There's an S over there. That's uh, sulfur. But I think we're okay with sulfur at the moment. Yeah, we've got plenty of sulfur. Okay, so we can deal with we can deal with the fact that we've got loads of sulfur. That's fine. What have we got over here? It has to be more than one ship because I wouldn't have left it otherwise. But then other ships could have come in here and blasted the bad guys. Oh, hello. Oh dear. See, there's another ship over there, which is probably going to inter interject with them. But they're travelling super fast, which is really good, because it means that they're rubbish. <laughs> I hope. Uh, okay. Oh, yeah, that's a level one Kestrel. That is going down super fast. Okay. Uh, and then we can get rid of this one, which is a level six Hunchback. That def definitely needs targeting. The Hunchback itself, though, is pretty easy. Uh... Can I tell it to target this? Target this! No! Don't target that then! Okay, but that was pretty fast as well, wasn't it? Oh wait! What's going on here? We've got a level 1 and a level 1. Okay, we don't have to worry about those. The main one that we have to worry about is the hunchback. Everything else can go. In fact, so much so that I'm going to take away my orders. And I'm going to concentrate on this hunchback. Uh, for starters... I can deal with that thing, and then I can deal with that thing. Good. The Hunchback's pretty easy, uh, so I, I'm not too worried about that. I'm just worried that all of these shots together could be a problem. You see, we can deal with the missiles now quite quite easily. Oh yeah, bunch up! That's a great idea, you do that. Uh, wonderful. Okay, so they're destroyed. They're, they, they were no problem whatsoever, and didn't even scratch the ship. Uh, and because these are both level 1, these aren't going to scratch the ship either. Uh, so these are going to be dead in no time. You, you will die. Please. Don't bother taking your time. You can die now. It's, it's okay. Don't even wait. Just surrender. It's, it's sort of, that is one thing that we are missing in this game, I think. Ship surrendering. Just going, oh heck, we've taken, we've bitten off more than we can chew here. Uh, our level 6 has, uh, has died immediately. Uh, we should probably run away. That's uh, that's something that they don't do, as far as I can see. Ooh, that is a lot of gunfire for you, little ship. Enjoy the massive gunfire. Oh, wow. Yeah. <laughs> I figured that might be how it would go. All right, we'll target you then. Lucky you. You get blasted very soon. You'll regret attacking my ship thought they were powerful because they had a level 6 behind them uh, and then soon afterwards uh, one volley of death on, on the way look at that brilliant and boom not enough death oh no it was enough death we'd even preserved the uh, the core that's br oh wait 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 
Yes, preserve the core. Oh, good. It drifted off. That's excellent. If it hadn't drifted off, then we would have, we would have blown it to smithereens, and that would have been that. All right, let's have a look at this. It doesn't look like we've got any um, repairs to do, although I, I haven't really given it enough time. Nope, no repairs. Okay. We survived the entire incident without a scratch, which is uh, a, a good sign. But again, as I, as I keep saying, in other areas we're going to find it incredibly more difficult than this. This was, uh, this was uh, lucky. This was, that's what that was, lucky. And it doesn't serve to, be to just be lucky. You need to be smart, you know, accomplish things with, with, with more than just luck. Okay. Doing well. How's our storage? going all right there's crew racing about all over the place i don't know how our, our um, crew is okay we're still like 70 down 60 down 70 yeah, just just yeah 70 ish down uh so we need 70 and then the ship will be uh, functioning on full hopefully all right i can't see all of the wrecks oh that's there's a mess of wreck over there yes there's just mess isn't there uh, if I select that, then I can do that. It's good. All right. Uh, yeah, go there. there. But I want you over here, so forget that. <laughs> but we'll have to go over there because that's definitely got extras. Yes. Give me all of that stuff. We might have to sell some. I've already had to sell a bit of stuff because I just couldn't store it all. It's usually the coils. These things. I get tons of those things. Okay. Don't leave the crew behind. He's clinging on. To, he was clinging on to that to, to that thing, going, "No, no, he's going to leave me behind." He is. He leaves so many people behind. Yes, I do. I do. Because because I want to get moving. <laughs> Thankfully, I usually manage to pick them up. Usually, I don't think I've killed that many people. Apart from all of the enemies, but they they seem to get around. I mean, look at them. They're they're darting around space. I don't know why they, they just do that, but uh, they seem to. Have I still got collect the um, collect steel in? Ah, that's why there was so much in that wreckage because I'd still got collect the steel. No wonder. Yeah, I've got steel all over the place now. Ugh, I might have to eject some into space or just sell it. That's that's the appropriate thing to do. All right, so we've managed we managed them quite easily, and I'm very pleased with that because uh, that was uh, again another three. The fact is that my previous designs of ship wouldn't have even survived that because, despite the fact that those were really easy levels, um, the uh, my earlier designs of ships had no shielding around the back or sides, and you get one ship attacking you at the front, and you have to focus on that. Uh, and so you uh, you end up with uh, with a bunch of ships around the back, wrecking you. Oh, hello, are you one of those missile ships, or is did I, did I go to a different zone for that? Here we go. Let's see. Oh, fast, very fast. Is it fast because it's running away, or is it fast because it's running towards me? No, it's it's all over the place. What's it doing? Come hither. Ooh. Swift wing, interesting. Level eight. Wow. Okay. It's using a lot of those smaller cannons. It's only got one um, one shield up front, which it's going to regret because I've got these as well. I've got the disruptors to matey, so you are going to regret that. It's got some good engine stuff going on. They've concentrated on the engines, haven't they? Yeah, they've concentrated on going fast. They've not concentrated on being able to destroy things quickly uh, so they might suffer from that or they might run away because there's no way I can capture them they have to we are slowly slowly getting towards them let's see if we're going to actually he's so fast I don't know what the top speed on this is it must be a hundred it must be because I've I've had ships that went to 80 that was fairly fast I felt Okay, he's gone around the back of there. That's that's trouble. You going to see me? Somebody's going to see me soon. Come on. I'm chasing you down very slowly. Ah, ha, 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 ha. It's seen us. Uh, and it's, it's heading this way. Great. Although, if it can go backwards as fast as it can go forwards, then uh, I might find it difficult because it can't go that fast backwards. It can't. 
Ah! Okay, so our shots are trying to shoot their laser shots down. Are they laser shots? No, they're not. They're cannon shots. But they're not as good as our cannon shots. Look at our cannons in, in, in as opposed to theirs. Our cannon shots are, are far bigger. That's it. The disruptor shots are getting straight through and damaging their shields and everything else. Right. I think we can take this because... Despite the fact it's level 8, you can see obvious problems with it. Really obvious problems with it. So yes, destroy that, would you? I want the shields to be utterly wrecked. These are... the cannons are good for uh, for um, defence. They, they take up... Um, they can take up, absorb a lot of damage. So they really are quite useful. Okay, good. Now the mining lasers are having a go. Lovely. Shoot that! Please. Wow, there's not going to be much of this ship left by the time we finish with it. Yep, yep, it is a mess. That is it. Now what's the other one doing? The other one's zipping all over the place, isn't it? I don't know if we've got time to mess around with this wreck before we'll have to do something else. So what we'll do is we will speed up time again. Just so we can see where that wreck's going. Okay, it's, it's staying around here-ish. So we'll call it Wreck uh, and move on. I will go back to it. All of these little dots that I put all over the map, and there are quite a lot of little dots that I put over the map. Uh, we do, we do, I do generally try to get back to them when I need them. Specifically when I need them. You can see that there's even a base over here somewhere. Wrecked base. So there's a, there's, there's a mass of, um, of uh, ammo over at the wrecked base, I know that. Ah, this one's already coming in. Alright, All right. so it wasn't waiting for me. Heck no. Right, you. If, you, if you're that determined. Ooh, it's actually getting through our shields. No, it's not. <laughs> Ooh, the explosions. Wow. Okay, aim at that. That's the most um, delicate part. It... They took out the shields immediately. I'm quite impressed with that. Oh, wow. Look at all that. For some reason, although the front of the ship is very heavily set up... Yeah, boom. Bye, mate. <laughs> although the front of the ship is very well set up, uh, it seems that sometimes attacking from the side is not good for them because it seems that sometimes they, they get more. I think it's because the side... It's, it's got sort of four guns angled for it, whereas the front has only got, where is it, two. Yeah, it's not as easy for these guns to shoot things because they're a little bit further away, I think. I think. Uh, anyway, it results in dead ship. And we have resulted in dead ship. Brilliant. Two! Two sets of numerous enemies! Uh, well, I suppose this wasn't um, too many, but it was It was level eight ones. Mm, level eight ones. Brilliant. Uh, we'll do our minor repairs, uh, and then we can get back on our way. More more nicking of supplies. We'll have loads of supplies by the time this is... Uh, Uh-oh, I'm going to be uh, grabbing mo loads of sulfur that I don't need. Yeah. Okay, fine. Grab the sulfur. I'll just sell some. That's all I'll do. Or I'll um, give it to my supply ship, uh, which is obviously a useful thing to do. Ah, yeah, we're going to be full soon. Very soon. In fact, I think we're full now. All right. Well, with a with a completely full ship, it's time for me to get off back to my supply ship, and I shall see you in the next episode. In the meanwhile, you take care. Thanks for watching. Feel free to watch other things on my channel. Feel free to subscribe if you haven't already. See you next time. Bye for now.